Hello everyone and welcome to this week's weekly science investigation. Now, last week we made a speedboat out of a bit of cardboard and using a chemical reaction to power the boat along um, of fairy washing up liquid and water. And the chemical reaction pushed the speedboat along. Now, we're going to make another speedboat today, but this time it's not going to be pushed by a chemical reaction, but it's going to be used through the force of air. So we're going to make a boat similar shape as last week with cardboard, and then attach a straw and attach a balloon onto that straw, and that's going to be how the boat is pushed along. So let's have a go at making that. Right, so for this, all we're going to need is I've got a piece of cardboard cut in a similar shape as last week, just we don't have that um, square cut out. Um, I've got a bendy straw, a balloon, some tape, and I've got some glue. Um, it doesn't have to be a hot glue gun, it's just um, that's what I have in the classroom. Um, so first what we're going to need is to make a hole in the boat, because what's going to happen is we're going to put the straw on the bottom, and then this part of the straw is going to feed through and that's what we're going to attach our um, balloon to. So I'm just going to try and make a hole. Probably should have done this before I glued them together but that would have been me thinking about things. There we go, that will be how it fucks on like that. Now, this is when the glue comes in, because we're just going to glue that into place. So we now have that stuck all into place, and it's looking quite already pretty cool. Um, this then we now we need to attach the balloon. Um, now the balloon needs to rest on top, however, here it needs to be nice and tight. In fact, what I am going to do is trim that because I don't want it to be quite as long. Um, so, we're going to attach the balloon onto the top of the straw. So first we're going to put it on and then we're going to wrap it round um, nice and tight and then put some sellotape on. And I'm going to get some sellotape ready. There we have it, that should now blow up. So let's see. And then we got, look, it's there. And then if I let this go, it will all come out of there, which is what's gonna power our boat when we put it into water. Right, so I'm now in the garden. And now, before I try out our speedboat, I found in my cupboard our hovercraft from um, week two, I think, of lockdown, when we made this. And I thought, well, now is the perfect opportunity to see whether, because it's a similar kind of thing, it's using air as a force, similar kind of thing. Let's see what this is like in water. So here we go, this is our hovercraft. Let's get the camera coming a little bit closer so we can have a look. And I'll release the cap. So not quite the effect it had on the smooth tabletop, but you know, looks more like it's farting out water. But there we go, that's that one. I thought I'd just try it out. If you've still got your hovercraft, maybe you could try it in water. Now to move on to our speedboat. So I've got the speedboat, I've got the water, let's see how it works. I have added in little stabilizers at the back, trying to keep it in a straight line, but I don't know how it goes. So let's see how it goes. It's gone into a corner. <laughs> Look at that. Wait, if you have a go at home, do let me know. Do send me in some pictures so I can share them on the website. That was, I enjoyed that. I think potentially if we have this pointed down a little bit further, it might go a little bit faster. So you have a go, maybe you could try and make a few designs to see which one would work better and then let me know. But um, for now that's it, I think now it's time 
Paul's here. I'm a bit hot. I think it's time for me to have a dip. I'll see you all soon. Ah!